It's recap time. I bring you one more recap. Today I'll explain an American action thriller movie called Kickboxer Retaliation from the year 2018. The film opens with its lead, Kurt Sloan, getting seduced by his wife, Lou, into dancing on a train in a dashing red dress. As he dances with Lou in the dining compartment, a group of Asian thugs attack him out of nowhere. While Kurt effortlessly fights the thugs, one of the train's workers takes away Lou. Kurt finds himself more tangled in the thugs when their lead, a super strong girl with a dragon tattoo on her back, shows up to fight. She takes the fight above the train roof, where Kurt successfully kicks the girl and her sidekick off the train. Sadly, his foot gets stuck in a chained hook that drags him down the train roof and into the ocean. The scene is then cut to Kurt having a ring fight, revealing him to be a professional kickboxer. While the commentators praise Kurt's winning streak, Kurt puts a very dangerous arm lock on his opponent and gets him to surrender. After winning the match, Kurt visits his wife Liu and tells her of his dream, in which he fought some thugs on the train. Liu gives him a metallic pendant with her picture inside it and requests that he never leave her sight. At this moment, Kurt reminds Liu to take the limo that's waiting for them outside to the party and let him have his shower so he can join her later. When he comes out of the shower, he finds two mature men breaking into his room. The men claim to be police officers who have come to arrest him for assassinating Tong Po. That's when Kurt gets a flashback of the past, in which he took Tong Po's life to defend himself in a life and death situation. However, Kurt becomes suspicious and asks the officers to show their badges, but they end up electrocuting him with a taser and kidnapping him. Hours later, Kurt regains consciousness and finds himself naked and cuffed in front of Thomas Moore and his crowd somewhere outside Bangkok, Thailand. Thomas reminds him of how he fought Tong Po and brutally took his life during the fight. Moore, a ring fight promoter, reminds Kurt that he wanted Kurt to keep on fighting in Bangkok and make Moore a good fortune, but instead, he escaped him. Now Moore reveals his intentions of Kurt fighting a man-beast named Mongkut, the current undefeated champion. He wants Kurt to finish him and clear the path so that he can plant his fighters and make good money by betting on them. When Kurt bluntly refuses to fight for Moore, Moore's bodyguard throws some punches at his face, but Kurt breaks his nose using his head and laughs. Moore laughs and throws Liu's gifted pendant at Kurt, which successfully tames him. In the next scene, Moore and his bodyguard take Kurt to a Thai prison and give him the option to fight Mongkut for a million American dollars, or go to a prison that's full of Tong Po's followers, who want Kurt dead. Kurt doesn't give in and makes the decision to be imprisoned, which doesn't go too well. A bearded fellow approaches Kurt and warns him of the fellow prisoners that are after Kurt, but Kurt doesn't flinch. He heroically fights everyone that comes in his way, but in the end, he catches the warden's attention, who gets him thrown into the punishment chamber. There, a guard chains Kurt to a cross and whips him with a lash until he bleeds from the back. Following this, Moore and his bodyguard show up and offer him a life of comfort and luxury in exchange for this prison misery, but Kurt happily declines it and goes back to his cell. On his way, he eyes a phone in one of the guard's hands and pulls a falling trick to get his hands on the phone. When he gets the phone, he immediately calls Liu and tells her his whereabouts. Sadly, the guards catch him and give him another round of whipping on top of his fresh wounds, which brings him great pain. Upon reaching his cell, another group tries to pick a fight with him, during which he gets bumped into a renowned fighter named Briggs on his way out and pisses him off. Briggs comes on strong at Kurt, but Kurt isn't a quitter either, so he engages himself in a fight with Briggs. In the end, Briggs gives him a solid knockout punch, which lands the both of them in the punishment chamber. Kurt notices that Briggs doesn't flinch a muscle, while Kurt himself has a hard time bearing the whiplash. Meanwhile, Liu lands in Thailand and arranges a secret meetup with the police chief. They don't like her arrival, since she has once investigated them in the past, back when she was a cop. Setting aside their differences, Liu hands them some cash and requests that they trace her husband's prison location and also name the man who has framed Kurt. Considering the bribe to be very low, the chief reveals Moore's name only. Disappointed, Liu walks away, but the chief sends his men after her and tells them to keep following her. Back in the prison, Briggs approaches Kurt and shows his soft side. He shows him a plant, which is the best medicine to treat the wounds that Kurt has on his back. Kurt gets instantly relieved when he puts the crushed plant on his wounds. Later, Briggs takes him out and unites him with his trainer, Durand, whom Kurt is more than happy to see. Sadly, 
Moore has blinded him and imprisoned him for being involved in Tong Po's assassination. Kurt truly feels bad for him, whereas Duran finds it a blessing since he can access his brain in ways he could never when he had sight. On the other hand, Moore is seen with the prison warden, discussing ways to manipulate Kurt into fighting and requesting the warden not to hurt Kurt, as he is his potential fighter. Moore's sidekick intervenes and begs to let his plan of getting Kurt to fight be carried out, as he knows how to push Kurt's buttons. Meanwhile, Liu visits her friend, a private investigator, at the train station, and requests that she find out more about Moore since he's kidnapped and imprisoned her husband, Kurt. The friend reveals that Moore holds more influence than God in the town, indicating that going against him wouldn't be easy. Despite that, she agrees to help Liu out and leaves. Left alone, Liu gets kidnapped by the police officers and delivered to Moore. Now, Moore's bodyguard visits Kurt in prison and shows him a video of Liu under their custody. Just as the bodyguard has assumed, Kurt gets triggered and agrees to fight Mong Kut. Moore and his showgirls pay a special visit to Kurt to discuss some conditions. Kurt threatens Moore and his bodyguard to not lay a finger on Liu, or else he will come after them. Moore laughs and assures Kurt that Liu is being well taken care of. Up next, Kurt discusses his situation with Duran and asks him to train him, but Duran doesn't find it a good idea. However, he agrees to train Kurt. He blindfolds him before every fight and urges him to learn the art of anticipating the opponent's moves before they're even made. As the days go by, Durand and Briggs use their separate methods to train Kurt. Whereas Briggs sees potential in Kurt and encourages him to train more, Durand opposes Briggs and discourages Kurt. This lands the two coaches in combat. Kurt intervenes and stops their fight. When Moore finds out about Kurt's struggles, he offers him to train on his grounds of luxury and comfort, so Kurt agrees. Before leaving, he demands to be taken on a field trip to participate in exhibition fighting at the end of his training and be trained by Durand and his prison buddies. Now, on Moore's ground, Kurt and Durand talk to Moore's sidekick about Monkut and try to find his weaknesses. Durand demands to meet Monkut in person, but Moore's sidekick makes fun of him for being blind. However, Durand doesn't back out until he's taken to Monkut's place to watch him train. At Monkut's place, Duran keeps his ears sharp and finds out from Moore's sidekick that Monkut pumps in steroids to gain strength, which he doesn't find fair. Moore's sidekick laughs and reminds Duran that Monkut is not bound by legal or professional fights, so he can do whatever he wants. Soon, Monkut trains with a bunch of rookies allowing Duran to hear every move and grunt of his to evaluate his judgments about him. Once he knows he's too strong for Kurt, he interrupts Moore during his sword fighting session and requests that he be selected to fight Monkut instead of Kurt. Moore laughs and gets into a small sparring session with the blind Durand as a way to tell him that it has got to be Kurt. In a time lapse, Kurt is shown working days and nights, training hard to beat Monkut. He trains under Maurice's skilled trainers in the morning, his prison buddies in the afternoon, and with Durand at night, who keeps him blindfolded most of the time. In his free time, he practices yoga in nature. One day, a lady shows up to serve him juice during his practice. She quietly refers to herself as Liu's investigator friend and claims that she's planted herself on Moore's staff to help Kurt. The next day, as Kurt is practicing sword fighting with Liu's investigator friend, he spots a man with a dragon tattoo on his arm and remembers him standing next to Liu in the video Moore's sidekick showed him earlier. He tells Liu's friend to track the man with the dragon tattoo in order to find any leads on Liu and he walks to Moore's sidekick to remind him of the field trip as promised. The sidekick appoints the man with the tattoo and Liu's disguised friend to take Kurt and Durand to an exhibition fight. There, they meet up with the ringleader, Joseph, who knows them from the previous fight with Tong Po. Durand asks Joseph to get his best man out to fight Kurt, but Joseph demands money for the bet first. Kurt gets Moore's recruit to pay Joseph and starts the fight. Sadly, his opponent gets knocked out way quicker, and he doesn't get to display more of his moves. Despite not liking Kurt's work, Joseph hands Kurt his profit. Kurt gives it to Liu's friend, who throws the money in the air to create a diversion in the crowd. This allows Kurt to knock out Moore's man with his elbow. He puts the man over his shoulder and runs outside, where Duran's son, Travis, is already waiting for their arrival in the car. Kurt and Liu's friend take the knocked out man in the car, and Duran stays behind to fight the men that have come after them. He single-handedly knocks two men out and walks away. Meanwhile, 
Moore's recruit is beaten up by Kurt in the car in order to reveal Liu's location. He lies to them and takes them to a riverside, where he signals his samurais to open an attack on Kurt. While Kurt fights the samurais, Moore's man flees. However, Kurt doesn't stop chasing him and ends up on a public train, where he fights him just like he did in his dream. In the end, the man jumps from the train, and so does Kurt. He captures the man and gets him back to Travis and Lou's friend. This time, he takes them to Moore's penthouse, where he's captured Lou. When Kurt, Travis, and Lou's friend reach the penthouse, they separate ways and start looking for Lou. In the search, Kurt encounters Moore and his showgirls, who also turn out to be fighters. They take the fight to a room full of mirrors, where their tattoos and lipstick start glowing in the ultraviolet light. They create great illusions with their reflections. But Kurt gets to them in the end and knocks them out. He then goes out and unites with his team. They finally find Liu trapped inside a room, where she's also being guarded by two men. Travis and Liu's friend take out guns, but Kurt finishes them with his bare hands. He then unites with Liu and thanks the Lord. Upon walking out, they are surrounded by several guards and the great Mongkut himself, which confirms his relationship with Moore. There, Mongkut throws a deadly punch at Kurt, but Liu comes in between and falls unconscious on the ground. Seeing this, Mongkut leaves, but Kurt starts panicking and begs Moore's sidekick to call the ambulance. After Liu is hospitalized, it is revealed that she's fallen into a coma, which brings Kurt great sorrow. He sticks by Liu's side until she doesn't gain consciousness. Once she luckily wakes up, Kurt takes his fight with Mongkut personally and vows to end his life for what he's done to his wife. One day before the match, he meets with Duran and asks about Mongkut's weaknesses, since he had observed him fight a few days ago. Duran reveals that his weakness is his glass jaw and tells Kurt to attack his jaw once he goes out of breath. The next day, Moore's sidekick introduces Kurt and Mongkut into the ring and Moore encourages the audience to place bets on the players. Secretly, he has bet on Mongkut, knowing he's more powerful. In the first round, Mongkut mercilessly beats Kurt and knocks him out by furiously pitting him against a stone pillar. Kurt gets a concussion at the back of his head and falls to the ground. His worried wife and Duran run to Kurt and take him back, where they put water on him and wake him up. Kurt wakes up overwhelmed and believes he cannot fight a man as big as Mongkut. This time, Duran encourages him and stays strong by his side. On the other hand, Mongkut's trainer injects another shot of adrenaline to pump him up, which is noted by Liu in a state of shock. Meanwhile, Duran reminds Kurt to dodge the attacks and not fight back until the right time. As the second round begins, Mori's sidekick announces the hardening of the level by teeing pointing knives on both players' knees and elbows, and handing them Yent Machitas. In round two, Kurt successfully dodges Mongkut's deadly attempts to end his life and keeps him running around in order to get him out of breath. Liu and her friend dread every counting second alongside Durand and his son Travis. However, in the end, he marches to Moore's sidekick and asks him to announce round three, which surprises Moore and the audience. Moore acts like a sore loser and doesn't want him to fight since he's already won the bets, but Kurt reminds them of the conditions of the match, according to which a player will only be declared the winner if the other player is put to death. Moore angrily demands from the audience to double the bets and agrees to commence round three. In this round, Duran blindfolds Kurt and asks him to remember everything he's learned in the training. Now, with his eyes closed, he anticipates Mongkut's moves and manages to punch Mongkut in his privates, which finally brings the big man to the ground. Kurt takes advantage of this position and kicks his jaw, which weakens it. Throughout the match, Kurt runs around, uses curtains to fly around him, and targets Mongkut's jaws. After a series of kicks and punches on the jaw, Kurt overpowers the big guy, but Mongkut doesn't back out and gives Kurt a good beating. In the end, he picks up the knocked out Kurt and throws him in a small pond of water, where Kurt recalls his tragic past and frees himself from the shackles of his father's taunts. He comes out to attack Mongkut with a heavy chain. He wraps the chain around his fist and punches Mongkut's jaw. After weakening him with a series of attacks, Kurt follows Duran's voice and launches the final kill shot, which knocks out Mongkut. He then sits on top of his chest and punches his face until Mongkut dies but Mongkut takes out his knife and stabs Kurt's back. Despite being stabbed, Kurt quickly takes the chain from his hand and uses it to strangle Mongkut to death. When Kurt becomes the rightful winner, Moore and the sore loser sidekick don't show up to celebrate his victory, 
So Durand and Liu show up and lift his hand in the air to let the audience know he's the real winner. The movie ends here. I hope you liked this movie recap. Please comment down on what you liked about this movie and what scene you liked and don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.